another edition on your daily sport program, Talking Sports, uh, on Honorable TV, and here with your anchor on uh, every week, Bilo on Monday. And with me is no other person, the man that knows sports and the man that enjoys sports totally. We call him Honorable Mudashiru Jeli Adetoji. That is the deputy leader and the committee, the, the chairman house committee on sports of the Jai Legislative and. He's just a returnee. We call him a returnee because he just came back from the land of the Arabians. We call him Dubai. And he's fresh and here healthy in sport. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. Yes, I want to welcome you back to your office in Ifakodai. How is your trip like? Oh, very wonderful and interesting. I hope the sporting world is also discussed in your trip. Yeah, yes, yes, we did that and it was interesting and even the tree now ignites the passion and momentum on sport that we are really going to make it happen every time in the faculty. Thank you very much. And you hear that from the host mouth himself, that's the chairman on committee on sports of the legislative arm of Ifakwejai. And on talking sports today, we're going to take you round the initiative. You know the model that we're looking at in Lagos and not just Lagos, across the 774 local governments in Nigeria. Everyone is coming around to learn this model. And that, what is that model? The Ifakwejai games. Honorable sir, yes. what really brought up the idea? That and all the legislative are supporting the chairman, Honorable Usman Akombi, and that on this initiative of the Thank you, God bless you. You see, as we all know, that uh, honor, uh, uh, chairman Usman Akombi and that are also very good. And he brought about the initiative that sports in the Fakodai are, the, the sports in the Fakodai, even all the games that other local governments will take us for a role model is Vasatai, Hajai, is cool. And he wants to impact that sportsmanship into the life of the youth in the faculty. That is why he has set that faculty games. Congratulations, the faculty games have been making the, the wave of the moment and everybody is really learning from you guys. Yes. Another thing that came up is the game has gone through the first knockout stages because you guys had over 128 teams in the faculty and it has gone through the first stage now in the second knockout stage. What can you give as the assessment of the grassroots sport in the faculty? Uh, my assessment is this. In fact, you see, sport is something that is wonderful that brings about the youth without any discrimination. Visual, uh, no discrimination, either of tribe or anything. It brings them together, the unity. And you see, with unity, when you are united, there is always a, a development. And that is what we are having here. You see, we are bringing them together and we are trying to scout for uh, skillful players so that when we, are, when we have them, we are not going to stay on just local level alone. We want to take them international. Like we have signed MOU, uh, MOU Memorandum of Understanding with other people abroad, with other people that when we add them, we can take them there. And that's another channel of even making money for Ifakodai and even late for Ifakodai. That is the motive of, of having it. We are not just having it for fun. No, 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 no. Those names, those uh, people that we spot as a very strong player will be taken abroad. Mm. Now you see why Ifakoja is a model for everybody. They are always proactive and they thought ahead of time. And now the sales of players from Ifakoja is another angle that we are just getting from the man himself. Sir, the games entirely. I really, you've had the boxing competition, yes. you had uh, uh, the, um, the, the football competition, yes. award. Yes. now the inter-club tournaments in football, and there's still coming basketball and virtual games. Yes. I even say about tennis. Yes. This game then encompassing, how has it added value to the local government? Thank you for that very good question. It has added value in the sense that, you see, the youth we are having, we are getting them committed. They are having the impact of the government now. Now, you see, before a few 
we don't carry that, we don't carry the youth along in the government. But now they can say it categorically that even this government is actually for the youth. Because the, the, the chairman happens to be a youth, all the legislative arm, we are all youth. So we have we we actually come together that we're going to bring something good out of it. So when you see the youth, you see the joy. You see, when they see now this, uh, the, the, the FAPO game has been the talk of the town. When you see the youth around talking, you see them talking about it. It means we are having ways and they are happy. And anything we want to do, now you see them on ground that the government has really taken them for what they are, they, for what they, they, they are. And they are, it's adding more life to this great uh, local government. That's a good one. The unity of the youth coming to life in Ifakodari, and that is a plus to your government. And now, we want to really go deep into sports. All right. The, there's, there's a vision of the local government having the five-a-side beach, and it was told that you have uh, the space allocated for the five-a-side. I, I, I see that we don't have much beaches in Ifakodari. Why the introduction of the five-a-side beach? You see. Like now, we, we told you about the Fakodai games. And the one we are we, we just have just one, and I won't be away. We are actually working on it. So we want to have more, so that when this game is going on, and we can have another one going on, we can do it. In fact, we want to be up and doing, that nothing is really going to affect us. Like having the five, uh, five aside uh, pitch, we have, we have the land for it, we have everything for it. We want the shoot. The youth, in fact, we want them to be committed to the fullness. That, you see, when we're having the table tennis here, we can have the snooker, uh, the snooker game going on uh, yeah, next to here, and we can have the football going on. The, the boxing can be going on. So everything we want, we really want to be on ground that everything works systematically, not one waiting for another. You know, if we don't have enough space to, to, to uh, do all this, we will have to bench one for one. But no, we don't want that. We want everything to be great. Yes. yes. And that is uh, bringing the joy, bringing the joy back. Ifakoja is known for uh, producing stars in the past and we are bringing the vision. But I want to say thank you for that opportunity given to the youth. And the youth are really eager. We, like what we discovered in the last um, uh, the draws uh, during the Ifakoja games. We saw a lot of people came out for the unveiling. A lot of people appreciated the the forms you guys bought. Now my question goes out: Why do you decide to buy forms for the team that are eager to even pay as much as ten thousand, five thousand? But why do we eager to buy like the form for the legislative arm? The legislative arm buying forms to give to, to the, the, the teams. You see, we want to tell them this. Uh, the people that are actually emerged as the counselors we want to tell them we are good and we don't even want them to see as if maybe we want to make money from this. No. Our motive is to make them great. To make them really great. Like they don't pay. You see, there are some people that have little money who scare them away and it's no money. But we are telling them it's not all about that. We want to bring out the giants in them. And that is why we bought those forms for them that they should have it. Thank you very much, bringing out the giants from the grassroots. And that is the motive of everyone where the grassroots will produce the giant. In the past, Nigeria have always been producing giants from the grassroots. The likes of Daniel Amokachi, the likes of Emmanuel Amoniki, Taribo West, George Finini, Peter Ruvai, and the late Stephen Keshi that became one of the best coach in the whole of Africa. They all always come from the grassroots and now taking us back to memory lane. I hope this model will be accepted by the Nigerian Football Federation because at the unveiling, we were surprised to have one of the administrators of the biggest club in Nigeria talking about Godwin and Athena and he has always been talking about this model on his program. What passion can we now see? Or what is the next level we will now see? From now, in the next four years, what are we looking at in the faculty concerning sports? What we're looking at in the faculty concerning sports is, I can bet it with you, and I'm saying it categorically, confidently, 
that you will see that some of our boys should be signed abroad. Uh, you will hear the names of uh, great football players coming up we will be within this format that will definitely emerge and you will know that it is this if I could die again that produced them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And that is how we'll be rounding it up on uh, Talking Sports today because we are taking much of your time. We want to appreciate you sparing the time with us. Uh, and we've been having Honorable Mudashi Ujalil at day 2 on Talking Sports today. And uh, I know you guys have enjoyed every bit of it. You had the last edition and now we're having another one and you have always been calling out that yes, we want to hear from the Osmond. Not just for us to be telling you what is happening, but you are hearing it and you have seen the vision and for legislative and supporting the executive. I want to say congratulations to Prince Usman Akambi Amzai having a wonderful youth in support of his vision and mission. And that has always been the motive that the challenge has always been in Nigeria whereby we don't have the support from the legislative and, and the executive are already com uh, complaining that there's no corroborating. But this time around in the faculty, they are already on the same tree. The driver is there, Honorable Usman, uh, uh, Executive Chairman Prince Usman are supposed to be the driver, while the members of the legislative arm are already pushing the vision, and the vision is on. Talking sports with Belo on Monday on Honorable TV, once again, once say thank you for having us, Honorable Mutashi. It's a pleasure. pleasure. And, we and, hope, you. and we hope next when we call on you, you surely will put your vote. I'll definitely be on that too. Thank you very much. And that is how we'll be closing the shots today. Don't forget, we promise you that games are still on. We'll be leaving here to the field right now where they'll be having the midweek games in the faculty games. And let us go and enjoy it. I am Bill Omotini, the anchor on Talking Sport on Honorable TV. Let's have it.